Okay, so here I want to talk about first time you're talking about it. Uh, oh, what we're going to talk about right now is networking and updating. We're going to talk about the cyber security basics, the CIA threats, which is the um, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. I'm going to talk about what is compliance, frameworks, and maturity of the compliance and auditing itself. So, what is cyber security? So, cyber security is the practice of protecting computer system, networks, data, and digital assets from various forms of cyber threats and attacks. And you can also say it's the uh, process of defending computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, networks, and data from malicious attacks. We have um, various categories of um, cyber security. We have the network security, application security, information security, cloud security, and so on and so forth. So, what is uh, network security? Net network security uh, focuses on securing the communication channels and network infrastructures to protect um, data from transmitting information. And it includes uh, um, it includes measures such as the firewall, nutrition detection, and prevention system. What is application security? Application security focuses on securing software applications and their development processes. And it includes measures of, um, um, of securing um, code processes, penetration testing, and application firewalls to prevent vulnerability attacks. Information security. Information security is concerned with safeguarding data, both at um, the rest and from transmitting of um, information. And it includes uh, measures such as encryption, data loss prevention, that is the DLP, and the access control to protect data from unauthorized um, users. Now we have cloud security. Cloud security um, addresses the unique um, challenges associated with um, com associated with uh, cloud computing and services. So um, we have the CIA threat. Now the three letters of the CIA threat stand for the confidentiality, the integrity, and availability. The CIA threat is com is uh com is a common model that forms the basis of for development of security system. Now, what is confidentiality? Confidentiality is the process of protecting sensitive data from unauthorized users. Now, what is integrity? Integrity simply means uh, data is complete, trustworthy, and not, and it cannot be uh, modified by unauthorized users. Now, what is availability? Availability is, uh, Information should be constantly and readily accessible for authorized parties or users. What is compliance? Compliance is your, it refers to the practices of inherent the to establish law, regulations, industry standards, and organizational policies and procedures that are designed to protect the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data. And information system. So there are some key um, aspects of compliance in cyber security. You have law and regulation. Now, this law and regulation just simply means that a company is supposed to have law and a standard law and regulation which is abiding that particular company. You have industry um, industry um, standard. Now, the industry standard. Various companies around the world have, have established a cyber security um, standard and best practices to ensure the security of sensitive information and to ensure that those uh, sensitive information is well protected and safeguarded. We have auditing and certification. Organization undergo regular audits to assess their cyber security practices and compliance. Now with relevant standards and um, regulations, a successful audit may lead to a um, certification. That means each cyber security has to have um, undergo an um, auditing and certification. And for a good um, in cyber security, you have to write on a specific certification. But in respect to compliance, you have to have a certain um, ISO 27001 certification uh, or a PCDS, a PCI DSS compliance. 
Now, if PCI DSS compliance simply stands for um, payments card industry data security standard, and it is a set of security standards and requirements designed to ensure the secure handling, processing, and storage of payments data, such as credit card information. So now, basically, the primary goal for this PCI DSS is to simply protect the card holder data from theft and unauthorized access. Then we have the organizational policy and procedures. Now, companies often create their own cybersecurity policies and procedures to govern how data and information systems are well protected. We have frameworks and maturity of cyber security of compliance. Now, cyber security frameworks and maturity models are essential tools for organizations to assess, improve, and maintain their cyber security posture. So we have two various um, um this thing. We have the cyber security frameworks and the cyber security maturity. So under the cyber security frameworks, we have the the NIST, that is the National Institute of Standards and Technology. And this NIST provides a comprehensive set of guidelines for organizations to manage and reduce cybersecurity. So we have the ISO and IEC 27001. Now, this is a standard outline requirement for establishing, implementing, maintaining, and continually improving an information security management system, that is the ISMS. Then we have the CIS, that is the critical security control. We have the cyber security maturity, cyber security maturity model certification. Then we have the FAIR, which is the factor of analysis of information leaks. And the second one, which is the cyber security maturity models. Now, we have various um, models of the cyber security maturity. So we, which are the CMMI, which is the com, com, compatibility maturity model integration. And this compatibility maturity integration is originally was designed for software development. So the CMMM, CMMI can be adapted for security to access the organization processes and helps in maturity in, um, improvements. We have the science maturity model. We have the ISAC cyber security maturity model, which is the CMM. And we have the NIST cyber security compatibility maturity model, which is the C2M2. We have auditing. So auditing in cyber security just simply means the systematic processes of examining and organization information system policy the procedures and controls to assess the effectiveness of its cyber security measures and ensure compliance with the security policies regulations and industry standards and this um, auditing helps to check the day-to-day -day activities that are running in an organization so that they also prevent, they also work with the compliance team to ensure that there's no vulnerability, um, there's no attack being um, done on the company or um, ensure the, the, um, the smooth running of the company. So we have the as, um, various key aspects of cyber security auditing. We have the assessment of um, security controls, we have the compliance verification, we have the risk and indication, we have the data security. For the assessment of security control, so auditors check and check and evaluate the effectiveness of security controls that are in place, such as if the company has a good firewall, intrusion detection system, access control, encryption. Now they ensure that the um they ensure determine whether the controls whether whether um these controls adequately protect their various cyber attacks. We have compliance verification. Compliance verification. The auditors ensures that the organization complies with the relevant 
laws, regulations, industry standards, and um, internal policy. Risk identification. Now, the risk identification, the auditors identify potential risks and vulnerabilities in an organization, in an organization system and processing. Now, we have data security. Data security, auditors verify that the sensitive data is adequately protected through encryption, access controls, and secure storage system. So where, whereby a good um this thing, a good organization, a company doesn't have a good compliance and auditing, that company cannot fully function and that company can be vulnerable to attack. Thank you and see you in our next class.